Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're here, it's probably because you're aware of the health risks associated with smoking and you're looking for ways to quit. Well, you're in the right place. Before we get started, please like, subscribe and leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Okay, let's dive right in. First, let's understand what makes quitting so hard. Nicotine, a stimulant found in tobacco, is as addictive as hard drugs like heroin or cocaine. It alters your brain chemistry, making you feel relaxed and distracted from discomfort. Overcoming this chemical dependency and breaking the habit can be tough. But remember, it's like learning to ride a bike. You might fall a few times, but with persistence, you will master it. Now, how long does it take to quit? For both light and heavy smokers, it can take up to 3 months for their brain chemistry to revert to its normal state. But don't worry, the intensity and frequency of cravings start to diminish after a smoke-free week, and they usually disappear completely within 1 to 3 months. So how can you quit? Here are some expert-backed strategies. Number 1. Choose a quitting date. Recognize your smoking triggers. Number 2. Seek support from your family and online. Number 3. Manage your stress. Number 4. Consider alternative treatments. Number 5. Think about quitting cold turkey. Number 6. Use nootropic supplements to significantly reduce cravings. Number 7. And most importantly, don't give up. Nootropic supplements to aid in smoking cessation. Rhodiola rosea. Rhodiola rosea, a key ingredient in MindLab Pro, is an ideal nootropic for those looking to quit smoking. This herbal adaptogen contains active compounds that can stimulate the release of the three main neurotransmitters affected by nicotine addiction, dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin. Rhodiola may also help maintain acetylcholine levels. Several preclinical trials have shown that rhodiola can alleviate various withdrawal symptoms. One study found that rhodiola reduced physical signs of nicotine withdrawal, such as anxiety-related behaviors like shaking and hair racing. Another study found that rhodiola helped restore serotonin levels during withdrawal. An added benefit of rhodiola supplementation is its potential to counteract the weight gain often associated with quitting smoking. Rhodiola can reduce cortisol levels, a stress hormone linked to increased belly fat, and stimulate fat metabolism. L-theanine, a calming amino acid found in green tea, increases alpha brainwave activity, promoting a state of alert relaxation, mood enhancement, and mental calmness. While L-theanine is commonly used to alleviate performance anxiety and jitters while maintaining mental focus, it may also help alleviate many withdrawal symptoms. A recent study suggested that L-theanine could help manage withdrawal symptoms by repairing the motivation reward pathway. Researchers concluded that L-theanine reduced the nicotine-induced reward effects via inhibition of the NACHR dopamine reward pathway. N-acetyl L-tyrosine is a stress-reducing amino acid that serves as a precursor in the synthesis of several neurotransmitters. While no clinical studies have directly confirmed its effect on quitting smoking, its role in replenishing neurotransmitters makes it a strong candidate. For instance, this nootropic is a precursor to dopamine and norepinephrine. High stress levels can deplete the body's reserves of catecholamines like norepinephrine. N-acetyl L-tyrosine can help maintain adequate norepinephrine levels during stressful periods by inhibiting the production of stress hormones. Overcoming the addiction of cigarettes is a challenging task, and it's understandable that you'd want to try any potential aid to quit. Some people find success using a combination of methods, including counseling or a support system. Always consult with your doctor to ensure any alternative treatment you try is safe for you. There are currently two very promising developments worth keeping an eye on. On the not-too-distant horizon, there are a couple of game changers. A recent Phase 3 study found that smokers treated with a natural plant-based alkaloid cytosinicline were five times more likely to stay smoke-free three months post-treatment compared to those on a placebo. This is a significant breakthrough in the field of smoking cessation and should gain FDA approval in early 2024. Another promising finding comes from Dr. Ricky Stahl, an assistant professor of chemistry at Western Michigan University. His innovative research involves using enzymes to break down nicotine in the body, thereby eliminating it without causing any negative consequences. The published studies have been nothing short of amazing. 
Remember, nothing worth having comes easy. You can beat this thing and be out from under its control forever. We are all pulling for you. That's all for today, folks. Remember, quitting smoking is a journey and it's okay to ask for help. Check out the links in the description for more information and the studies we discussed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more health tips. Until next time, stay healthy and stay strong.